So this is a new idea in making and I'm actually working on it and I'm myself not sure about this entire thing but I'm gonna talk about it this is so you guys must have you know must have been having ideas like you know what iPhone should have been launched in December not no you know you have all these ideas business ideas you know we all not the low level you know we all study corporate processes corporate what they're doing in the news and you say okay you know what Yahoo should have got sold to Microsoft long time ago this would have been right for Yahoo you guys are really talking about big strategies Actually, to tell you the truth, we are all pretty good in understanding those because our discussions are always at the strategy and all this business ideas level. And we are quite good in those. Sometimes our insights speak volumes and, and they are really good. If you go to blogs and all, you see some people, you know, giving their business ideas that iPhone should have been launched by this, I, iPad should have been phased out by now and iPhone, they should have had, at and should have an unlimited plan also, blah, blah, blah. They should keep unlimited plan, all these things. We are really talking about business ideas. Airtel should not be using iPhone. Airtel was anyway number one. What did they gain? They give 50% royalty to iPhone guys. What is the problem? They, that's not right. You know, they were already having a huge customer base. What did they gain? Nothing. Um, uh, Sprint and Spice Telecom should have gone with iPhone. Things like that. You must be having these ideas. Or they should improve their customer service. I think, you know, when the call goes. These are all business ideas and we all think at the idea level and strategies level. I'm not going to try to di differentiate between the two. There's a huge difference because it doesn't hit me at the end of the day. I just want to say there are ideas and strategies. These are typically thought of by VPs, directors, big guys. And I, that's what sometimes I funny, like mockingly say, you know, you know, we are all born CEOs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can think like a CEO quite fast, you know, so, uh, so. So ideas and strategies is, is one thing. But what happens is it starts to hit us when they start conceiving the processes. They start to come up with the process to implement their ideas, to implement their ideas and the implementation that they have is also an idea, a process. Like they say, okay, we want to have this process that when customer comes in, someone should greet him. Then we should do, do this, take this information, then do this, then sell him this thing. This is entire process. Someone's strategy is working. Right. Someone says same thinking, okay, what we should have is, okay, iPhone should be launched in July. So we, basically we should start the production in this month. We should start the customer service training in this month. We should have better system. We should have product setup done and we should have merger with AT&T, all those things. These are all processes. Now merger with AT&T, like, sorry, partnership with AT&T is a process. You know, we should assign this five people team. They should go there. There will be like back and forth discussion. This particular process is not tracked and seeable, but there are many processes that they would concede especially the customer facing processes that would be eventually getting tracked in a CRM system or in SIBO. For example, for iPhone, what we'll have is we'll have a special uh, portal. When people go there, they'll only see iPhone. That's only, there's only one thing to buy. I'm just giving you a new idea. Yeah? I don't <laughs> think there is an idea like this. They'll click there, they'll go there and there's only one thing to buy. They'll click on it. <laughs> funny things so it will pull all this information you know and then it will basically the product will be shipped to you quite fast like within a day or something something like that so this is a CRM system they are conceiving they will conceive multiple such systems some of those systems will be hitting civil world like they might say okay we know we have to push iPhone to corporate source it's gonna push civil very heavily now like a system like CRM very heavily because civil you know like uh, very heavily because Siebel is used by companies, by, 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 by AT&T. Um, uh, Siebel is used, is used to manage big customers. So if AT&T plans to you know, use iPhone and push iPhone to big corporates, that means they have to use Siebel, like a CRM like Siebel, because the cycles will be long now. It won't be someone comes to your doorstep and website and you know, hits it and buys it and goes. It's like you'll be going there and making you know, presentations, how it adds value, then you'll be basically get, getting orders like 3,000 iPhones or 3,000 lines, right? So you're gonna be maintaining a, the relationship with these customers where you, you know, like a lot, and you'll be doing a lot of work, groundwork before you basically pitch your product, things like that. Okay. The point is, there is a, this is, process is what you have started to think. Processes are, 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 <clears throat> are supported by systems. Okay, systems
have functionalities. Requirements is right in the middle. This is the very important thing. Requirements is an English language based process. Like process is just written in English language. It is just a piece of paper and they write it. Then they say we need a system for that. They tell you what they need in English. And you have to create a, like a machine for that. Huge gap in the communication. A huge gap can occur. And, and, and the, 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 a lot of analysis this has to be. For example, you say, we should have a, I want a Ferrari which runs at the speed of 500 miles an hour. Yeah, better said, <laughs> much easier than, said than, than done. You know, it's like kind of very difficult thing to achieve. So what do you mean by this? <laughs> we cannot do this. I'm just trying to philosophize some very simple thing. Don't get too intimidated. I have to complete this video also somehow. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to do actually. So, requirements is that main thing, that main gap that you're filling. You are the one who will be basically getting these requirements in English language and putting it in terms of system language, like a machine thing, you know, how the machine should work, right? You guys gather these requirements and conceive the entire system for them. Or, or you gather and then you try to conceive different functionalities that you should have, okay? Then, This is, I'm going to keep it like this because this is that much, it matters only this much to us. It is as small for us. Technicalities of system, the way technically it would be designed, the way technically it will work, we don't care. Okay. Whenever you guys are giving examples, you will realize you guys will be making the mistake of jumping from process to system to functionalities. When, when a person is articulating, a person who has no experience is articulating, he's basically making this mistake. He is not able to relate the strategy to process to systems to functionality. He will talk about functionality and immediately jump and talk about some strategy. You see? And at the same time, you know, it is not that you cannot jump. You know, you can jump. Sometimes, you know, whatever. The articulate discussion means you should know all the means of all these things. But when we are discussing, we will try to th think from all these angles. From a system perspective, how will it look like? To me, system functionalities are like kind of similar thing. Functional perspective. Process is like more like business perspective. Idea strategy will never hit us, but then still that is there. So two main perspectives come into picture here. Business perspective, like process perspective or business requirement perspective and system and functional perspective. Like the functionally, how will it look like? We stand in requirements with. Whenever you guys are thinking about any example that I'm giving, yes, we stand at the requirement level. You should think functionally, how will the system work? What is the requirement and what is the process? One of the other things I need to emphasize here is when my guys are learning, if they understand the process, they stop. They don't think in terms of how functionality will look like. What is the user experience? What is the use case? How will he come in? How will he see? So, I have seen that if people, some people understand the strategy and they get satisfied. You know one such guy? Some people understand the functionality, they don't want to put it in a big picture of process. Okay, we will try to do justice there. So I will say sometimes from a process level, tell me what is the importance of this, this thing. And, or I would say, can you tell me how it will look functionally? You should immediately get to the keyboard and tell me how would the guy do the things on the keyboard and what will he see? Like he will submit order. There will be a button got up. He will submit it. He will click on it and it, the order will go and, and then there will be a confirmation. Functionally, what will happen? Okay, the status will flip to some. I want to hear these functional level details. Okay. Sometimes I will challenge you on functional level details. Sometimes I will challenge you on business level details. Okay. What is the significance at the process level? Well, if the order is not submitted properly immediately, then the order will never get fulfilled. That is a business level idea, like, uh, sorry, process level discussion going on. So what is the importance of uh, submitting it is immediately? Well, if it's not submitted immediately, then we'll lose time. The customer will receive it late. So I can have a discussion when we understand process level, function level. Let's say you say something, I will immediately challenge. Can you tell me at the function level how it will look like? You should know what I'm talking. Immediately get to clicks. 
and see, click, see, click, see this, click, this is what I get, I click this, I see this. See? Sometimes we talk for the process. Okay? And then they say, okay, change the level. Tell me from a process standpoint, what is the difference? For example, querying. Very functional thing. But what is the importance of query from a process standpoint? So many guys are bringing a lot of knowledge of the systems to the table. You guys have used system, you have used system. They know functionalities. Querying is easy for you, but what it does it mean from a process level is missing sometimes in the context. A fresh mind can do a better job in those cases, trust me. Because you, they will be thinking out of the box. They might say, you know what, querying basically helps in retrieving records. If I've entered something, I want to see it later, I want to I wanna see what I entered, and, and I want to get to it, that's the way, that, that's how query will work. I want to hear this thing, I want to hear this thing. If you think you've done a good job by saying that, Querying, query karte na, wo record aate <laughs> that won't serve my purpose. So, then I say, okay, tell me one thing, can you explain query from a functional perspective? Basically, you click query, this query button, you click query, immediately a blank row comes, you can enter the parameters and the values that you need, for example, last name is equal to steward, then system will show the results wherever the last name is steward. And how will it show, how will it show? I'll be curious guy, I'll say, how will it show? In the same applet, it will show all the 25 results. If it's more than 25, it will it will be blow there. You have to, the guy has to scroll. He has to click on the scroll to go down to see this. This is exactly how functionally it will look. And you're explaining it to me very, very well. If you, you know, try to do a good job there. This, I want really, at the end of the course, if you can explain one thing properly at the process and function level, one thing, you're done. I don't want this to be done every day. This is not something that, if you can explain one thing, the process standpoint say this will look like this, and from the functional standpoint, because every day you'll be juggling with those two levels as part of your job. Right? Context. Actually, if you notice, I've, 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 been, I've, I've noted six levels, but I've been talking about only two. Right? Because this whole philosophy is not very clear in my mind also. I'm trying to do a good job here. But I know that business level discussion is there, function level discussion is there. Then technical level is there, we'll not do that. So, this C++ Java is a very technical level and I am not a good champion of that. <laughs>